What if DJI sneaks the Osmo Action 6 out this month instead of saving it for a big November drop? In this video, I'm breaking down a fresh wave of leaks that point to an October 24th launch, what the camera might actually pack, and why a looming FCC vote on October 28th could change everything for DJI in the United States. So stick around because the payoff at the end matters more than you think. The rumor mill is pointing to a 1-inch CMOS sensor, massive dynamic range allegedly over 13.5 stops, and video modes like 8K at 30 frames per second, 5.3K at 60 frames per second, and 4K at 120 frames per second for buttery slow motion. Add Rocksteady 4.0 with AI-powered horizon leveling, 10-bit D-Log M color, smartwatch integration for overlays, plus internal storage and micro SD support and you can see why creators are hyped. Treat these as leaks, not official specs, but multiple sites and filings are repeating the same claims. Because a one inch sensor is physically bigger, expect a slightly larger body than the Action 5. That buys better low light, wider dynamic range, and longer pixel headroom for grading. Battery rumors point to around a 1950 milliamp hour pack or dual options, which could deliver over four hours of continuous 4K recording depending on settings. Translation, more usable recording time without swapping batteries on long shoots. Those are the kind of real world upgrades that actually change how you film. Now the dark horse in this story, the FCC is set to vote on new restrictions that could tighten approvals for equipment linked to certain companies on a covered list. If DJI ends up on that list, new wireless products that rely on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi could face authorization blocks in the US. There are already reports and investigations into shell company workarounds that some allege were used to keep products flowing. In short, the Action 6 might arrive in stores. But the bigger question is whether future DJI releases keep wireless features or get delayed or rebranded. This is not speculation alone. Reuters and drone industry outlets are tracking the October 28th FCC timeline closely. If you are planning to upgrade, think about use case and timing. Want the absolute new sensor and top specs now? Pre-order signals might pop fast if an October 24th reveal is real. But if you live in the US and rely on live streaming or smartwatch pairing, consider the regulatory risk over the next few months. Pro tip, if the Action 6 lands and you can grab it, test wireless features and firmware update behavior before relying on it for client work. The landscape could shift quickly and resale value may reflect that uncertainty. So, is October 24th for real? It is looking plausible based on leaks and filings, but keep perspective. DJI can still change timing or regional availability. And remember that the October 28th FCC vote is the other plot twist that could reshape DJI's US game plan. What do you think will happen? Instant hit on release or drama from regulators. What if the tiny gimbal in your pocket suddenly had two brains? Today we're diving into leaked photos and insider whispers that suggest the DJI Osmo Pocket 4 prototype packs a true dual lens system, brighter screens, bigger sensors, and tracking that might finally feel magic. In this video, I'll walk you through the leaks, why the dual camera idea is more than a flex, the real world benefits and trade-offs, and whether you should wait for Pocket 4 or buy the Pocket 3 now. Stay tuned because the part about the drone-grade telephoto squeezed into a 190-gram body is the twist that changes everything. First up, what actually leaked. Reliable tipsters surfaced images showing two distinct modules on the gimbal head. A larger, primary sensor plus a smaller telephoto unit that screams DJI Drone Heritage. The branding in the photos reads Pocket 4, and the front and rear screens are visible. 
If these images are legit, we are not looking at a simple refresh. This is a rethink of what a pocket gimbal camera can do. From tight tele shots without moving your feet to depth aware tracking that uses both lenses simultaneously. Why dual lens matters. So why is two better than one here? Because one lens handles wide, the other handles reach, and together they feed richer depth and motion data into active track. That means faster, more reliable subject locks, smoother reframing, and depth-aware bokeh without needing a phone or weird attachments. Imagine switching from a wide talking head to a clean tele close-up without swapping lenses or losing your subject mid-frame. For vloggers, travel shooters, and solo creators, that convenience is a game changer. The rumor mill points to a 1-inch primary sensor around 12 megapixels with Hasselblad color tuning and a secondary high-res chip rumored to be an Omnivision 50 megapixel 1 over 1.3-inch unit capable of very high bitrate footage. Practically speaking, that could translate to cleaner low-light, true shallow depth options, and higher-res crops or 8K-capable workflows. Add 10-bit color. D-Log profiles and brighter OLED screens on both sides, and you've got a device that films like a little cinema camera but fits in your palm. Trust me on this one. The combination of sensor size, color science, and tele-reach could replace a surprising number of on-the-go kit choices. Of course, leaks are leaks for a reason. Firmware, heat, battery, and price are where prototypes often get tempered. Dual sensors and dual screens will likely bump costs and power draw. Storage is rumored to be much larger than Pocket 3, which helps, but don't assume unlimited record times at the highest frame rates. And then there's the regulatory question in certain markets that could complicate support or updates. Bottom line, if you need a camera today, the Pocket 3 is still a fantastic, reliable option. If you can wait and want bleeding edge convenience, this is worth tracking closely. The Pocket 4 leaks point to a genuine shift. Compact mechanical gimbals moving into multi-lens, depth-rich territory that blurs the line between action cams, compact cinema tools, and pro drones. It's ambitious, and if DJI pulls it off the on-the-go toolkit for creators, could change dramatically. Sound exciting or a little too sci-fi? Drop your take in the comments. What would you do with a pocket camera that can switch from wide to drone-grade telly in a heartbeat? If you found this breakdown useful, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss my follow-up when more details land.